Out there in the DFS community, Vaughn, the Stat Man, coming into your YouTube airwaves, and welcome to the Stat Room. All right, guys. Last night was it was it was. I'll get into it in a minute, but um, I'm gonna get into today's word, and today's word is gonna be will. All right. If you play DFS long enough, your will will be tested. Your mental will be tested because you'll have nights where you'll be like, man, I picked the best hitters. They were going up against the worst pitchers and nothing, guys. You'll have more zeros on the board. You'll have more zeros on the board than the Cleveland Browns playing the Patriots. I mean, it's, it was just, whew. that's what DFS is about, man. This is why I say that you need to have variations, man, because there's no such thing as a perfect lineup in DFS. In DFS, you need skill, you need heart, which we had heart tonight, guys, but we didn't have the luck. Our guys didn't hit. So tonight, our will was tested. So I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh, man, that man don't know what he's doing. I know what I'm doing, guys. It was just one of those nights. And today, my will will be tested. But like I told you guys, I'm built for this. I don't shake. I don't cower. I'm going to come back tonight swinging again. And tonight, our hit is a hit. All right, so I'll leave it there with the will. All right, now, this is what I want to do before I, I get into everything. I want to read you guys the winning lineup. And you tell me, with anybody with their, with their weight and salt, would they would have picked this lineup? All right, Arietta, I could see you picking him at the pitcher. He gave you 40. Mariosco, 24.9. Vato, 12.2. Walker 21.9, Suarez 28.7, A. Cab Cabarilla 25.1, Conforto 25.2, Hamilton 25.7, and Grandison 25.1. Okay, this this lineup, this this is the winning lineup. They had 228 points. This person went against the Pittsburgh pitcher, who was one of the hottest pitchers in baseball. He had a, a under two ERA. He typically doesn't throw, you know, pitches that you can hit out the park. He, you know, he, he throws, he's a ground ball pitcher. I don't know nobody that would have picked that lineup. So this, and Syndergaard, who was the, the number one pitcher, he got blasted last night, guys. That's, that's DFS. All right, now I'm going to go through, I want to read my absolute worst lineup. Because I told you guys, when I, when I do bad, I learn from it and I move on. All right. This lineup had had um, Urias, the pitcher from the um, from the Dodgers. He had 18 points, guys. He, he he did good. He had he pitched. He didn't have give up. He didn't give up no hits. He gave up. He had um one strikeout through five innings. All right, Vasquez had zero. He was set up perfectly to play against the Orioles. He didn't even get a hit. Zimmerman, who's been hitting it like crazy, had 12.5. You had Harrison. Who was playing one of the worst pitchers in baseball had a nine. Rendon had a zero. He was playing up against a decent pitcher, but he normally hits lefties well. He had a zero, no hit, guys. Seeger, who was playing against one of the, the most struggling pitchers um, at San Francisco, a zero. Ben Attendee was set up perfectly. He was going up against Kevin Guzman, another pitcher who was struggling, who was terrible. But Guzman got got um. He got ejected in the beginning of the game, but he had a zero. You had A. Garcia, who was set up perfectly. He gave us a zero. And Polanco from the Pirates, who was set up perfectly going up against one of the worst pitchers, a zero. And then some of our other guys that we had that put up stinkers. Turner and Seeger. Guys, these guys should have blasted the San Francisco pitcher, but they didn't, guys. Hey. Like I told y'all, man, that's fantasy. And then the win-win, you know, I think the win-win did decent if you played head-to-head. But, guys, that that's that's what happens in fantasy. All right, so I'm going to get into – I'm on to today, guys. Like, like I told y'all, guys, I don't I don't dwell on it. All right, let me get right into my um to my four horsemen for today for NBA. All right, I'm going John Wall. He's at home. I'm going Brad Beal. He's at home. I'm going to go Joe Johnson. And I'm going with Gortat. That's my um, four horsemen. All right, guys. Um, I'm, I'm gonna talk on something real quick. Somebody want to know what's the what's the levels in fantasy between like sharks and like 
professionals are right, you have a couple levels your first level is the beginners they're the ones who just started playing fantasy they pick their best players and hope for the best then you got skilled players like myself i want to do my research and i pick the best matchup sometimes it work out sometimes it don't then you have professionals those are the ones who won tournaments those are the ones that that you, they, they're going to play if like 10 different lineups they got probably 10 years of fantasy experience those are the professional guys like the roto grinders and those guys then you have the sharks they don't have no skill but their bankroll is their skill and they'll play 150 of them now shark i mean now professionals don't buy lineups because they do their own but they are geniuses they don't have no life their whole life is fantasy and then the sharks just go out they buy lineups and their money is their is their skill all right so i hope i answered all your questions so if you like what i did hit the like button subscribe to me and guys, you play fantasy long enough, you're going to have a lot of it. You're like, it's going to kill. And it won't. All right. Love you guys. Have a good day.